hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to consume web API into web forms to bind data into your drop down list control and here we got the final output notice the header tags consume web API into ASP.NET web forms then bind data into drop down list this is a drop down list ASP.NET and this is web API. I have consumed this EMP name into ASP.NET drop down list control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in web API, first we'll check the table and the column name I want to bind into a drop down list control. The table name is the EMP table which contains four columns EMP ID, EMP name, email and salary. Now my aim is I want to bind this EMP name column into a ASP.NET drop down list control using web API. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial I am creating a new web API application, go to file, new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is consume web API web forms DDL which is a drop down list it's a project name click OK And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. First, in this project, I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Model. Right click the project name. Add. I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Data Model model name is EMP name click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option click next I'm creating a new connection of SQL server I'm adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name the table I have created in this new DB database is a new DB so let's add that one new DB database test connection ok ok and here we got our connection string and the connection string name is a uh, new db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file after that click next from the database objects I'm expanding the tables folder as well as dbo the table name is the emp table I'm selecting the one then click finish After adding ADO.NET Entity Model, next step, open Solution Explorer, minimize the references folder. Now let's add a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. And the class name is EMP class. Now in this EMP class, I'm defining the uh, property string public string public string I want to bind the table uh, the column name is the EMP name public string EMP name get set so after adding the public property for the EMP name then open solution explorer right click the controllers folder add select the controller 
I'm selecting web API controller to empty add the controller name is EMP name is a web API controller name add and here we got our API controller now in this API controller I'm adding the ISTTP action result method public ISTTP action result get EMP names this is a method name now in this method name first I'm declaring my connection string entity name which is a new DB entities and D is equals to new new DB entities after creating the object for the connection string entries next declare the variable emp name is equals to uh, nd dot emp tables dot to list method I return ok method and this ok method I am adding the variable emp names now before consume this web api into web form first we require this web api url so let's browse the web api google chrome and here we got the default output of that project which is a home page now after the domain local host i'm adding api to get the web api results I'm adding the API controller name which is a EMP name copy this one paste here enter and here we got the results of this web API URL which contains the XML file format so here it displaying all the records all the columns from this EMP table but I want to bind only EMP name from this EMP table into ASP.NET Web Form drop down list control. So now let's consume this web API into Web Form. Stop debugging. Now open Solution Explorer. Now right click the project name add new item and from the visual shop I'm selecting web I'm selecting web form the web form name I'm changing to bind EMP name is a web form page name add and here is the web form page and this web form page contains a default HTML5 code. Now between this form and do tag I'm adding center tag. Center tag. I'm adding headings. Consume web API into ASP.NET web forms. Bind data into drop down list control after that I am adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding the ASP.NET drop down list control open toolbox I am expanding the standard folder and here is the drop down list control I am adding that one after adding the drop down list control now right click the mouse go to view code now in this code behind first I'm adding the namespaces using system dot not the system the project name is a consume web API project name dot models after that I'm consuming the web API using HTTP client class so I require the namespace system dot net dot HTTP client HTTP namespace now in this page load, I enumerable the I, I enumerable the type of class. Uh, I'm adding the EMP class. Then EMP object is equals to none. Mm, 
Now let's consume the web API using HTTP client class at c is equals to object a new uh, HTTP client HC dot base address is equals to new URI method. This URI method takes a string parameter. The string is a double quotes and the URI string which is our web API URL. Copy this one and paste here. Then once we got the base address, now we'll consume the API is equals to HC dot get async get async method uh, takes the URI request URI I am requesting the web URI name which is the EMP name here I don't require the controller name after that consume API dot wait method once we consume we'll read the data variable read data is equals to consume api dot a result property if read data dot is success status code here the condition is if the data is read successfully i want to display that record into a drop down list control so variable display results is equals to read data dot content dot read as a sync i list in this i list the type of object to read the type of elements in the list is emp class display results dot wait method so now this display results uh, uh, before binding into the drop down list we have to add into this EMP object EMP object is equals to display results dot result property now we'll bind the data drop down list one dot uh, data source the data source we are getting from this EMP object then drop down list one dot data text field the column name I am adding uh, I want to bind EMP name so let's add that one EMP name semicolon then drop down list one dot data bind that's it we have consumed the web API into this web form to display the records EMP names into drop down list control let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output notice the header tags consume web api into asp.net web forms then bind data into drop down list this is a drop down list asp.net and this is web api i have consumed this emp name into asp.net drop down list control that's it